Okay, Chris from Acting Out here. I had some uh, some viewers on my video that were wondering about how to fix the carabiner if the little spring here has been I'll show you that little spring there. What to do if if it's lost? And so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to try two experiments here. First one I'm going to do is this is a lid, actually just from a little concentrated orange juice can. And so I'm going to work on trying to cut one out of here. The other one I'm going to do, option I'm going to try to do here is actually make one out of a paper clip. Might sound a little weird, but uh, I'm thinking that if we might be able to use the paper clip is roughly, it's a little bit thicker, but it's, it's pretty much the same size. And so I'm thinking here that I might be able to maybe solder. It's twice as wide, but uh, I think one piece in here, I'm concerned about it tilting this way or the other and falling out. But I'm thinking if we solder two of these together, then we can probably make that work. So I'm experimenting with this a little bit here. I wanted to show you how it turns out. I'm just double checking the width on that. But uh, anyway, first thing we're going to do is we're going to try this can here. See if we can't cut out a piece about this size here. If anybody wants to try to experiment with making making a new spring, so I've got some just some cutters here. Take this can, this lid. Another thing I thought about doing maybe is the is soda pop can lid. Uh, this is if you do it with these anything you're cutting with this, just know it's going to be sharp. Maybe sand it down a little bit to make sure you're try not to cut yourself here but okay so i'm just gonna work on trying to i'm gonna just do a rough cut here and then we'll do the fine tune cutting to get it down to the right size all right got a little piece of metal here Get it the right length. That's actually turned out pretty dang close to the right length. Okay, so now I'm going to do is just start doing some rough cut with this. Estimation here as I look at it. And uh, we'll see how this works, but it seems similar flexibility in metal. I'm going to sand this down a little bit here. Some corners so it's less likely to cut. A little bit more. It feels like it might be a little bit more flexible than this piece here as I hold it up. That's a little bit wider there, but it pretty much matches the size there. Um, it does need to be, I believe, this may be too much of a pain in the butt for some people, but it does need to be a little bit thinner on the one side. So we're going to trim that off. But, I mean, to be honest, most of these carabiners you get in a store or whatever, sometimes you can get them for cheap. So, having said that, we're going to go ahead and try to work this piece up inside here again. Skinny piece goes up in first, as I mentioned on my other videos. And get some, trying to find my other heavier screwdrivers. So get that piece up in there. This piece, honestly, the metal, so far I'm finding the metal is a little bit on the too flexible side. If you've seen any of my other videos, if you haven't, go back and check on them. I'll put the link in the description. But any of my other videos on this paperclip thing, you can see me see showing how I'm pushing this spring up in, and that just bent. So using a piece of tin can like that, too flexible so that's out so the other option we got here is I'm going to work on taking a piece of a paper clip and what I'm going to do with that like I said it needs to be too deep 
too wide at least. And so I'm going to, I'm just matching this up here with the paper clip to cut them two up the best I can. All right. So now we're gonna have to do with these, turn on my soldering iron here. Compare the width of that. I might need more paper clip than two. And then we're gonna solder these together. Get them all one piece. Hopefully this will work. Yeah, there's three. I'm matching up the wider end of this now. See how that fits. The only concern would be the skinnier end that's centered in the middle. Now my soldering iron, I believe, is ready. Push those up together. I've got a little solder sucker fan here that I made out of a computer fan. Don't like to suck solder fumes. This is some micro solder for uh, soldering up small components. Right there. So, you know, tip here a little bit. Move my fan over. And I may have to solder two of them first and then since they are just jumping apart. All right, we're back here. Found my needles, pliers, and found my electronics tweezers. So to make this a little bit more right tool, right job here. So, and I got some flux. Little foot of flux here. Not exactly electronic flux, but that's okay. I'm just going to use my tweezers to dip that in there. Grab two of these. Man, I just saw her together a pair of couple clips of paper clip cuttings. Not the easiest job in the world. Jab those in there. I know I got some flux going on there now. That actually helps it stick a little bit too. A little bit more of this. Did it stick? It did. Okay. Burning my little countertop thing here a little bit. I don't want to keep burning my bench. All right, so that did, I don't know if you can see that there, soldering that. So we're just gonna dip this further in the solder, get the, that wire all clean. If you're not much familiar with solder, one of the things that will make solder not stick is if the solder's not clean, or the metal's not clean. So I can load up the tip here and then we're just going to take this solder right along the edge yep there we go just dragging that solder right along there get the other piece going here stick that right down in there get the flux on there all right load this up again with some solder there we go Solder's flowing. Won't cool off now. All that together. Gonna take this and trim this down even on one side. There we go. Other side. Still not quite even. Okay. Other side here. Believe I should be able to get just cut that at the shortest length, the shortest pin length. There's just the way these are uneven here matches up with about the shortest one. There's that. I actually have one more method. I found some a uh, piece of sheet metal that uh, since this one doesn't work and this is too flexible, 
I'm gonna actually think I'm gonna also try the, the other piece of uh, I'm just trimming this up here because I don't know if you want to go through the effort of this or just get another carabiner but for those of you who are curious DIYers experiment with this see if we can get it to work okay so we got that trim down here next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of bend in this and it's pretty much in the middle we're not gonna the downfall of this is we're not gonna have a wider piece the uh, a little bit of bend in there this original spring has a wider section in the middle designed to help kind of hold it in so I don't know if we're gonna be able to manufacture all that but I'm gonna try to see if I can't stick this in and I'm gonna okay so now see if I can't jam this thing up in here wider part goes to the bottom needle nose pliers what do I do with those I don't need stuff let's see if that'll fit in it might not fit up in there with three wide I think I might need to trim some of this down a little bit even still yeah I can't get that to go in there so it can't fit three wide in the beginning there so I gotta trim this trim the sides of this down a little bit I'm gonna have one up in the top instead of two all right I think that should work looks like about the right size roughly Let's see if we can't jam this thing up in here We're still hitting that piece there this just seems it's just a touch wide I'm gonna trim these sides down just a touch more but like I said the, the length of this is going through if you don't have a spring the amount of time I'm spending on this to see if I can come up with a way to do it probably just worth getting a buying a cheap carabiner I just can't see too many people spending this much time and effort to replace that small of a spring. Let's try to set this gate to the side a little bit. See if I can get it jammed up in there more with the gate open more. All right. Get up here a little more. Screwdriver to push it up on the ledge. This is definitely sturdier than the original spring, that's for sure. Okay, did I get it on there? I did. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> so, one option that's actually pretty strong. One option that does work is to take a paper clip, cut it in three small sections. Here's your spring. Get focused on that. Here's your spring. And if you can manage to get paper clip cut, so I got three white on the bottom, one white on the top. That was really delicate. Um, my camera's not gonna be able to focus on all the stuff it did. But that is one way that paperclip approach does work, soldering three paperclips together. I want to try to just do straight sheet metal because then you're not soldering. You'd think with as hard as these things are to get in normally, get in and out, that they would stay better. But nevertheless, okay. So if I can show you this again, we got three paper clips that are soldered together at the bottom and then one of them sticking up at the top and I just had to do all three of them together. They're bent the way the other one is. They're bent there. Sorry about the focus. My camera's just not focusing well there. And that's holding. So next project option here is going to be 
got some sheet metal here that should be about as strong as the other because that's that's what the other clip is largely it appears just some sheet metal so i'm gonna just take the clip off the edge of this thing here i'm just gonna take this piece here match it up all right there's one piece one that's the width cut anyway and then this is not easy to do with all these little tiny finger items here i've got to get this cut about the right length okay get that marked all right little piece of sheet metal so now i'm gonna take the skinnier end here and we're just gonna trim this halfway down that should be narrow enough to get in there got it bent let's put this one in now see how this works versus paper clip Needle nose. as far as time consuming the sheet metal definitely was better but part of the reason I wanted to try the paper clip thing is that the average person is going to be able to have a lot better access to the paper clip than they are the sheet metal my screwdriver here push that up on the ledge and I'll put a link in the description and link up top to uh, show you how to push this up on that ledge so I'm not going to go into it right here right now let's see it's a little crooked in there but I think it's in there Yes, it is. So drum roll. That works. My gate's bent. The hinges here are bent. So it's not lining up right. So I'm going to get this lined up to make sure it works right. But bend that hinge back. Okay, there we are. So you got two methods there for fixing the gate on your carabiner, or replacing in this case, replace the gate in your carabiner. But that, that is working right. Um, to be honest here, I don't know which one feels stronger. There's a part of me thinks that the one, uh, that the, Paperclip one feels a little bit stronger, but whichever, whichever one works easiest and best for you, have at it. Okay, just wanted to, the video quality might not be as good because I'm pretty zoomed in here with that, but um, I realized after I was doing this that people who don't have a, uh, a spring, they don't really know the dimensions that this needs to be, so just to give them to you here, you can get away with two millimeters wide. All right, it's about two and a half, um, but then the top part, that's about a millimeter and a half wide. I don't know if I, it doesn't need to be exact. Let's see the one I did here at the paper clip. That is three millimeters wide and one millimeter wide. That I think was the strongest. So anyway, uh, just wanted to let you know how wide those are and then the length of it. And this is bent to, but the original is 11 millimeters. I'm going to flatten the sheet metal one out here a little bit. So I can get the length that I've got here. So the non-bent one, when it's flat on the sheet metal one, that's 12 millimeters. So with the with the bend in there, and that's the same on the paper clip, 12 millimeters. So I'll try to remember to put those in the in the description as well, so you have those. Um, so if you don't have a spring, that's the dimensions to make it. So hopefully that helps. But uh, there you go. How to how to replace your this is kind of messy <laughs> how to replace your spring your carabiner spring that that so how to replace your carabiner spring so anyway 
appreciate your time. Uh, thanks for the comment that brought this up. And uh, please give me a thumbs up here on the video if you like that. And uh, always helps more subscribers, obviously. So if you like these videos, one thing that uh, would be, I'm just doing it to help people out here, obviously. But if you, uh, if you really like it, I really appreciate uh, you like these tips. And this does help you out. I really appreciate uh, subscribing if you would. And uh, we'll bring more videos to you. And uh, hope you like it. And uh, come back again.